In a recent vice presidential debate that unfolded on a Tuesday night, audiences witnessed a composed exchange between Republican candidate J.D. Vance and Democratic candidate Tim Walz, broadcasted on CBS News from the vibrant backdrop of New York. The debate was a stark contrast to the earlier presidential debates, showcasing a more dignified discourse. As the election date of November 5th looms closer, both candidates focus their attention on pressing issues that resonate with American voters, steering clear of direct attacks against one another. Over the course of 90 minutes, the candidates delineated their critiques of each other's running mates rather than engaging in hostile rhetoric. Although Walls stumbled initially, he gradually found his footing, articulating well-defined positions on contentious topics like abortion and the January 6th Capitol riot. Vance, known for his polished oratory, capitalized on this calm atmosphere, painting a favorable picture of former President Donald Trump, citing low inflation and higher take-home pay during Trump's tenure while rebutting claims of disastrous repercussions should Trump return to the presidency. A palpable tension surfaced when Vance felt confronted by what he perceived as unfair fact-checking from the CBS moderators leading to a moment where both candidates' microphones were muted to restore decorum. Nonetheless, the discussion maintained an overall civil tone, marked by occasional acknowledgments of shared viewpoints. Waltz notably observed, there's a lot of commonality here, indicating a willingness to find common ground even amid differences. As the conversation veered towards Trump's unsubstantiated claims regarding the 2020 election, a clearer divergence in perspectives emerged Vance deftly sidestepped directly addressing whether Trump lost, instead critiquing Vice President Kamala Harris on matters of censorship. Walls labeled this a damning non-answer, emphasizing the importance of confronting the events of January 6th as a serious threat to democratic integrity. The candidates' contrasting debate styles further emphasized their distinctive political philosophies, with Vance appearing at ease while smoothly articulating his points, whereas Walls, while personable, had to gather his composure especially during discussions on foreign policy, including the Iranian missile attack on Israel. As the debate progressed, Walls successfully regained his rhythm while discussing immigration, an area often perceived as a Republican stronghold. Vance, facing accusations regarding misinformation about Haitian immigrants, redirected the narrative to criticize the adverse effects of Harris's border policies. In a surprising twist during the deliberation on abortion rights, a traditionally Democratic stronghold, Vance acknowledged the necessity for Republicans to rebuild trust. I want us as a Republican Party to be pro-family in the fullest sense of the word, he stated, advocating for a more nuanced conversation on the issue.